Yo, what's up guys? Steve Reese here again from Player Grade Guitars where we feature guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner doom genre. So if that's your sort of thing, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more killer doom content. Today we are going to be breaking down Sleep's Aquarian off Holy Mountain. The song requires that your guitar be tuned to C standard and is played in the key of F minor. Now if your guitar was tuned to E, the position would be A. But because we're tuned four semitones down, we're going to be in the key of F minor. So get your shit tuned up, and I'm going to do a quick demo. And after that, we're going to break it down riff by riff. Check it. As I mentioned in the introduction, this song is in the key of F minor. It is going to use the F blues scale uh, basically exclusively, which is a six tone scale that goes like this. So, almost this whole song utilizes that scale. It, uh, it's a scale based on the root, the minor third, the perfect fourth, the flatted fifth, the, the fifth, the flat seventh, and the root. All right, we're gonna start with this riff at the 10th fret, utilizing the root note and the flat seven, along with the open root. It's gonna start with a hammer on that goes like this. Uh, it's a little tricky to get under your fingers, but uh, once you get the rhythm down, it's pretty easy. And then from there, he moves up, uh, basically using the same notes, this time uh, in a higher octave position and working with power chords as opposed to single tone notes. 
uh, up at, between the fifth and seventh fret with the root, and then your fifth, um, your fifths are going to be applied at the ninth and seventh fret. So uh, we're working on the third and fourth strings. Instead of doing the pull-offs, obviously, you're doing the slides now, but it's... And then you're going to move that riff back to the 10th and 12th fret uh, with a bunch of palm muting. And uh, this time, instead of using just the single notes, you're going to be working with power chords, palm muted power chords. So. So sort of as he goes, he releases the palm muting uh, and you end up with the full open chord. So. So in its entirety, that opening riff to the song goes something like this. So the next riff in this song is really cool. It just sort of walks down that blue scale uh, from the fifth to the flatted fifth to the perfect fourth to the minor third and then to the root. But it does it, instead of using root five power chords, it uses, which is uh, also referred to as a dyad because it's got two notes, the root note and the fifth note, uh, it uses what are called basically root major third dyads. So you're going to hold the uh, the note sort of directly below on the fifth fret or fifth string, and one fret down. So you've got a root note and a major third, root major third dyads. And the next riff in the song uh, goes like this. So to do that riff, uh, you're going to strike the third, fourth, and fifth strings open and hammer on at the second fret the third and fourth strings to form a dyad. Slide it up to the 7th fret, repeat, and this time 7th to 5th. Then the next part is basically the same except for do, instead of doing these um, perfect 4th dyads that he's doing, so using a root note and a perfect fourth note, he skips a string and does what would be a root major six dyad again. Uh, and he mutes the, uh, he's going to be, so you're holding, you're holding the second string and the fourth string down and you're just lightly resting your, your finger, your index finger on the third string so that it doesn't sound. Same riff, just instead of perfect fourth dyads, you're using root major third dyads. 
So then he ends that part. Basically an open F chord. So then you're going to work this riff inside the minor uh, pentatonic blues box up at the 10th and 12th frets. Let's take a look. The root, minor third, perfect fourth, flatted fifth, fifth, flat seventh, root. Root, minor third, perfect fourth, flatted fifth, fifth, flat seventh, so the next riff is going to work in that box and it's going to go Working between the minor third and the root. That's the flat fifth, the Uno. And then basically you're going to repeat that same riff, except it's going to be in the position up at the third fret here. Different position, exact same notes, blues scale. Um, and then to finish off the song, you've got a similar riff again in the uh, blues scale, uh, except at this sort of first box position. And so there you have it. That is the crux of Aquarian by Sleep. It's a pretty awesome song. If you like that lesson, you know, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what I can do better in these things to help you out more. Let me know maybe if you've got any particular songs you'd like to see or really any comments in general. I really appreciate you guys checking it out. Really appreciate the support. Thanks for everything. We'll see you next time.